Without waiting for a long time the king immediately gave the first impossible task to Peter. Peter had to fight. Peter was shocked. The people fell silent. Tomorrow, midday, Peter will fight the strongest warrior. Peter was then given the king's sword. Such a heavy sword, then how would Peter use it to fight? Madian approaches Peter that he is willing to teach Peter how to fight. For the sake of an elephant, Peter agreed to fight. That night at the Madian's house, Peter learns a sword move. Madian's wife is pessimistic, how can Peter win? Madian's wife even said that her husband once wanted to kill himself with a silk cloth. Madian refuses to say he killed himself, because he used silk as a parachute, and there is evidence that it worked. Meanwhile at a girl's orphanage, a little girl wakes up in the middle of the night. The girl then woke up the nun who had raised her since she was a baby. The little girl was named Adele. Adele told the nun that she had dreamed of an elephant. Nun said that dreaming of elephants is a sign. Adele then said that in her dream the elephant seemed to take her away. And in the palace, the elephant is also having a dream where the elephant is with his family somewhere, a place where he is loved. The elephant then woke up and his family was not with him. Peter soon entered and met the elephant. Peter unfolded a map and asked the elephant to show where his little sister was currently. But the elephant only showed that he liked Peter. The elephant even took an apple and gave it to Peter. That day people started arriving to watch the battle between Peter and the strongest warrior. The magician who was in prison was also enthusiastic to hear that a boy would fight for an elephant. Peter was shocked when he found out that his opponent was a tall and big, frightening male soldier, very unlikely to be defeated by Peter, a boy with a small body. The soldier's name was Sergeant Dismed. Peter repeated the name and it seemed familiar. Peter suddenly chose to run away. Dismed went after Peter. An action chase takes place in the town of Baltz between a soldier and a boy who wants to win over an elephant. While hiding Peter tries to remember where he heard the name Dismed. Peter kept thinking what he must do in order to win. Peter suddenly remembered about the fairy tales book. That was the answer, Peter had to take the book. But before that Peter exchanged the king's sword for a big fish. Where did he give the fish to the cat near his house, which Vilna peeked at every day? This is useful to distract Vilna when Peter tries to take the fairy tales book that is in the kitchen cupboard. After taking the book Peter then went to see Sergeant Dismed. Peter showed the book to Smed, but Smed was still trying to beat Peter up. From afar Vilna also witnessed the incident. But Peter kept showing Dismed the book. Dismed remembered it was his book of fairy tales. His mother used to read stories from the book every night to him. Unexpectedly Smed's childhood memories made him kneel in front of Peter. Peter beat Dismed in a fight. The people applauded in disbelief that the warriors were defeated. Madian and his wife were also happy for Peter's victory. The king was happy at Peter's victory, he thought Peter was a strange young man. Tomorrow is the second impossible task for Peter. The second task is to fly. Peter was surprised by the second task. But the king had decided that tomorrow at midday, in the square they would watch Peter fly.